Hello, Leo viewers. Going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, last reading we did, I was getting a third party energy, basically kind of an ex coming back around, but it might not be the best decision for you. Um, you also have a new love coming in as well. Be getting that for a lot of people actually, but it really came strong in strong for you guys. We do have Mercury retrograde coming up. Um, I believe later in January too, so that could be bringing, um, if he's not, if he or she has not already come back, that could be also that they're coming in with Mercury Retrograde. Typically happens. But let's see what your current situation is. Let's see what your current love story is, Leos. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement, reconciliation. Yeah, somebody is wanting to reconcile. Somebody that took you for granted in the past. I, I think they didn't. They didn't notice your beauty. Your your beauty. Your beauty in the past. Um, they didn't. They just didn't really um, fully accept you. They didn't fully understand you. And I feel like maybe your distance is part of why they're starting to understand you now. Maybe you kind of stepped away from that situation a little bit and started focusing on yourself more and now there's this sort of sense of mystery it's like they they can't have you anymore you're not as emotionally available to them as you used to be and that's making you seem more beautiful to them and more just mysterious and enchanting um so they're working up the courage and the assertiveness to to come forward and reconcile with you but you know you have been doing a lot of work on yourself so I don't know if you're gonna want this back I think at one point you thought this person was like your person like you were sure about this person but I think the longer you stay away from them I think the more those red flags sort of creep up for you and you start thinking you know well they he or she did this or they they put me down or they you know cheated or they degraded me or they you know, didn't match my energy or they didn't want me when they have me. You know, they only want me when I'm moving on and when I'm focused on my career and on myself. Like, why didn't they want me before? Why now? Um, what took you so long here? You know, it's, it's that sort of energy where it's just, it took them too long to really get it together. Um, so, you know, they are wanting to reconcile and they are working up the courage to reconcile and come forward with a love offer. But again, are you I feel like your perspective has kind of started, it's slowly been shifting away from this person, you know, and you're wanting something different now, I think. So I think, you know, when this actually comes back around, it's like, are you, are you going to give it a chance? We've got loyalty, stability, vows, nostalgia, longing, divine intervention, synchronicity, trapped, blocked, tied up, isolation, loneliness, emptiness, Magic, power, and intention, manifestation, and sadness. I'm going to put the sadness over there so there's no glare. All right. So what I'm feeling from this is that this person here is feeling kind of isolated and alone and empty. And... I feel like maybe you were their rock and they're starting to miss that energy. They're starting to, they're just missing all the things that they took for granted with you. But I don't know if it's like, I don't see each situation is going to be different. So you're going to have to judge based on you. You need to use your own intuition with this and, and really your own discernment when this person comes back in, back in. Cause for some, this is a soulmate and there is potential here. But for a lot of you, I do feel this sort of energy from this person that, they just don't want to be alone and that maybe they left you for a job or they moved or they left you for another person or they just wanted to see what else was out there and someone rejected them or something or life some there's some sort of energy it could have been like they got fired or they got they pursued something and it just didn't go well for them is what I'm feeling and they pursued something outside of you and it didn't go well and now they're kind of wanting this familiar energy back they're wanting this reconciliation with you um but it's like a codependent kind of energy. It's like a neediness. You know what I mean? It's not, I don't feel like a true love type energy from them. Not that they don't love you, but it's it's more like they just, they don't want to be by themselves. Like they, they just feel isolated and alone and kind of empty. 
um, and they want their rock back. They want that familiar, they want old reliable back, basically, you know, they, they want that old familiar energy back. Um, it's like they wanted, they wanted to see what was out there. They wanted something new and fresh and exciting and they went and looked for it and it backfired. Um, it didn't go so well for them and now they want to come crawling back to you. But, but again, do you, do you really want someone who, who only knows what they have when they, after they lose you? And after they feel your energy shifting away from them, I'm not so sure about that, you know? I feel like this, see, I feel like they are going to, they do want to be loyal to you. This could be for some of you, I think for a few of you, this person cheated on you. Because there's this energy and it's going to be, again, it's going to be different for everybody, but there's just this energy of them leaving you for something they thought was better. And now they're realizing it's not better. And so now they're wanting to come back around. But the reality is, as harsh as I hate to say it, but the reality is you were their second choice. You know what I mean? Like you are their first choice now, but the reason that you're their first choice is because that other thing didn't go as panned out as they planned, you know? Um, but they want to come in with loyalty, stability, vows. They want to make these promises to you. And I feel, I just feel a very codependent energy here though. It's like they're nostalgic for you. It's like they're, they're longing for something that's kind of dead and over. They have this, they just miss you. And so they want to, you know, make this commitment to you, but they haven't thought about this commitment. That's the problem is I don't think that they've really detached and, and, and gone inward and really been introspective and, and really thought about who they are and what they genuinely want long term. I feel like these decisions are just based out of a desire to not be alone unfortunately. And that this doesn't mean that you're not worth, like you deserve more than this, you know, this, this, that's just, that's them. It's not you. It's nothing you did wrong. This is all them. Um, but yeah, it's like, they're going to, I feel like they're going to present this offer of loyalty and stability, but you know, you need to use your intuition. Like, can you trust this person? Or is this somebody that betrayed you? Is this somebody who only wants you when they can't have you? Is this somebody who put you second and now that they're losing you, they suddenly want to put you first. Like, is this somebody who plays these mind games and just wants what they can't have and they have commitment issues, but they don't actually want like a real long-term relationship. They just want you when they feel like they're losing you, you know? And a lot of people with commitment issues are like that because, you know, then they don't have to commit. It's like, they're so in love with you and you're just everything to them when they're losing you because there's no risk of commitment. But once you reciprocate that energy and you want that commitment right back, then it's like, it's terrifying for them and they run. It's this like push, you know, one person chasing the other dynamic here that you got going on. And I just, I don't know if you really want that energy anymore. I think that you've grown. I think that you've evolved and matured from this and you learned an important karmic lesson here. And I think that you're moving past it. Um, but yeah, yeah, they feel nostalgic. They really do miss you. Um, and so, so yeah, they do feel them coming in, making promises to you. If they cheated, probably saying, you know, I'm going to be loyal to you. Um, just that kind of energy. But, but again, it's, it's based on isolation, loneliness, their emptiness. Um, they haven't really genuinely thought about who they are and what they want. They haven't really genuinely made that decision that they want a life with you. It's more like they just feel that they're losing you and that they have to act ASAP. So they're not really thinking logically. They're thinking more just emotionally. They don't have that logic, emotional balance right now. Um, I feel like this in general is somebody that does not think logically very often. This is somebody who usually thinks emotionally, which is, I mean, that's good. That's I'm, I'm like that too, for the most part, but I mean, you try to, you try to balance it though. You try to have some, at least a little bit of logic in there, you know? Um, I feel like this could be also somebody, if, if your person is a magician, is, you know, into the same stuff you're into, uh, I feel like they're trying to manifest you back, you know, it could be like a vision board or just, you know, putting the intention in the universe, praying about this, um, you know, they're, they're, they're praying for this divine intervention for, you know, to have a second chance with you. This could be somebody who's also manipulating you and, um, like texting you or calling you at like 11, 11 or doing something of that sort to try to make you feel like they're the one it could be, there could be something going on with that too. Um, but, but yeah, I think that they've been praying about this. They've been praying, they've been trying to put that energy into pulling you back in. They don't like that you've left now. And I feel like, again, I feel that codependent energy where it's like they feel trapped and blocked and tied up. It's like, they just can't get over you. Like they, they can't cut that cord even when they want to. It's like, they're kind of, they're heartbroken. Um, 
And if, and I'm not judging because I know when you love someone, you love someone, it's hard. And I'm totally not judging. But if you did a binding spell on this person, I think it's sort of backfired because I think that you're realizing that this was just like a karmic soulmate, like this is a lesson and that your true love is somebody else. Um, but see, this person can't get over you because there's some type of binding here to you. And that's making them sad because they're like, why am I trapped by this? Why do I still, why do I miss this person? Why, you know what I mean? Like there's some type of, um, like this red thread that's like really strong that you guys just can't cut, you know? So that's why I'm wondering if maybe a few of you, not all of you, but maybe a few of you have done some kind of binding rituals or something. Again, no judgment at all, but, um, you might want to look into undoing that ritual, like to, to, to setting both of you free from that so that you don't stay stuck to a karmic lesson that's not really meant for you, you know, because I think you, you're starting to realize you could actually be happier with somebody else. And I do feel new love coming in. So let's see what's going on with new love really quick. Love offer commitment. Yes. So you have somebody who is just. So you had to wait and hope and pray for this other person. It was always a power struggle with this person. But with this this new person, I feel like you have, like, they're just going to know who they are. They're going to know what they want right off the bat. They're going to present this love offer to you. I feel like for some of you, this is, might be coming in during Mercury Retrograde. You might be, I think that you've done a lot of manifestation, like manifesting love and just drawing love to you. And I think it's all going to come pouring in at once. Um... This energy is just better. It's like somebody who's just already, somebody who has like a more of a gentle energy too, I think. Somebody who's kind of more stable. I think in the past you kind of got bored with people that were too stable. I think that, I think with this this karmic lesson that you learned, um, I think that you started with whoever this ex is in the past, I think that you realize that you don't want to spend your life chasing people that don't want you, you know? You don't want to spend your life in this chaser, chasey, power struggle energy with these people. You know, constantly, you know, chasing and loving people that don't love you back and, you know, vice versa. Running from people that actually do love you and do want you in their life. Like, I think that you were in that pattern, too, where you kind of needed the excitement. You needed the uncertainty, the 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 chase, the thrill, Um Maybe you had commitment issues of your own that you weren't even conscious of. And this, this karmic lesson was kind of mirroring those issues back to you. But I think that you learned a lot from this situation. And so I think now you're actually finally getting to that point where you're ready for a stable relationship. You don't need the drama. You don't need the mystery. You don't need to chase them or have them chase you. You want somebody that you can just cuddle with and watch movies with and go out with and just have a normal romantic relationship with. And I think that you have this with the, that new person. You have stability and I think it wasn't originally what you thought you'd want in a relationship but I think when this person comes in that might not be your usual type you're, you're gonna want it it's gonna make sense to you um yeah mutual feelings emotional depth no games no chaser chasey games just being on the same page with each other you know no no more mental instability no more you, you might you know maybe this is talking about your own mental instability is like that you're you became aware of something about yourself with this karmic lesson this karmic relationship and so now you're at this point where you can have this healthy stable relationship with somebody else yeah vulnerability receptivity spying yeah see somebody is yeah see this is You've got that passion and romance here. You do. It's just more. It's just more stable. There's no no games, no abuse. Um, so it's a really beautiful reading. I am happy for you guys, and I'm really impressed that you guys. You know, that's whatever that karmic person was like. You learned some really important lessons from that that person that you were with. Like you really, that person seems like they marked a before and after period in your life. Like you changed a lot through that, through whatever you learned through that relationship. So it wasn't just for nothing. You know. You needed to go through that so that you can understand why you do not want that, so that you can understand how toxic it is to get stuck in that pattern of having to chase in and being chased, you know? You, you realize now the importance of just having a loving, stable, gentle relationship, and, and you have that coming in here, so I'm happy for you guys. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, my link is below. And also, if you want a private reading, my email address is below. 
thank you for watching. And I do have um, private reading specials for January as well. So $40 readings um, for half hour readings and um, five pendulum questions for $5. So just email me if you want to buy either of those. Thank you.